Plantation cottages one, two and through three. One is not available, two is available on www.barbados-realestate.com and number three is also. Today we're looking at number three and there are tenants in number two. Number three is located very close to Whole Town. There's parking for two cars, one in front of the other and potentially one in front of that, so maybe even three. Very cottagey feel to the property. Developed a few years ago. Only sold once in that time. Very happy owners. Good short-term rental and a good long-term rental. So a great home and a great holiday home. Not too much space outside, which is a godsend when maintaining a property. A little bit messy today, waiting for the gardener to come in. It's an eight foot space really behind the pool and running around the pool and the deck, which we'll see when we walk around the other side. Looking back around the front, looking up at this magnificent tree. Absolutely stunning. Amazing. Amazing. The banging you can probably hear in the background is next door neighbours having a bit of work done. And then we enter into the cottage itself. Tile floors throughout, allowing easy maintenance and cleaning. Little office corner there, storage under the stairs, which we'll look at in a moment. TV nook, slightly lowered. Of course, you can have it either which way that you prefer. Dining up, dining down. Dining table for six people, taking up no room, which is a lovely indication of the size of a room. Then walking through to the galley. Furnished really well, sold fully furnished. Sold really, really well. Calling this a galley kitchen is a little bit unfair because at the end of the day, Galley kitchens normally give the impression it's small. This is not small. High-end smeg appliances, overhead extractors, wonderful tray ceilings, pickled, down lighters, a fan. Looks really, really looks apart. Man that likes entertaining. We like that. Haven't got the key for this door. This door leads to a small patio area. Um, I think previously used for drying, but it does come with a washer dryer, stack system, up and down. No, probably no need to hang clothes out. Looking back into the living area here, really got a lovely feel to it. Again, quite low ceilings, pickled, up lighters in this part of the room, house I should say. Gentlemen here, a little bit scruffy, apologies for that, trying to avoid some of the clothes. <laughs> this leads out onto the dining, outdoor dining, deck and pool area, which we'll look at in a moment. Just have a glimpse, a bit blowy today. Louvre's open. That door's a little bit wasted there with the chair there. I can understand why they put it there, but I think I would have that chair moved and those doors open at all times. All part of the joys of being in the Caribbean, so feel that open air feel throughout. Wonderful bathroom, the way it's made to finish. Just getting trapped by something for me. Door. And that sort of Philip Stark chic cool, really very, very nice property. Lovely bathroom, down lighters, pickled ceilings. Then into the third bedroom. You may hear a crash now. There's storage above these little nooks and crannies, which you'll see upstairs as well. Fans and air conditioning. Lovely third bedroom, really, really nicely done. This leads you out onto the rear deck. Number two plantation cottages through there. With this thick vegetation, there's no overlooking. Overhanging eyes, and we love our privacy. And that's your fence line down below. Again, about eight to ten feet going around the deck. The deck does need replacing at the moment. Quotations for that are running around 8,000 US dollars. I would have to check that. Again, lovely space around the deck. Good space. So ideal really if you've got a dog and the dog can run around or relieve itself lower down if you're too lazy to get up in the morning or hung over from the rum party the night before. A nice pool. Some people have mocked the size of the pool, but I always say that the idea of a pool in a house this close to the beach, only 10 minutes, is simply to get cooled off. And there you have the fence that we looked over when we first got here. 
little bit of a clean up needed but still basically a wonderful wonderful home TV nook as shown earlier very nice and then heading upstairs again the office space that we saw earlier the front door hope I'm not panning too fast there's nothing worse I probably am storage downstairs this gentleman is definitely not a neat freak just show you it from the raised position here lovely feel really lovely feel pickled floors leading you to varnished wood floors with pickled ceiling again a tray like design it's not really tray as such but Lovely linen cupboard here, the top of the stairs, very nice. And these windows here have combined mosquito net, aluminium finishes, very little maintenance needed there. That's a lovely floor looking out. I'm going to start with the master, for some reason this house flows. En suite, en suite, walk-in closet with our suite facilities again that modern caribbean kind of design shower hard sometimes to get a feel for a sh sh shower and bath excuse me i've got the hiccups now that'll help but nice king size bed again you've got the storage in the cupboard and you've also got storage up there so when you come you can just throw your big suitcases up there walking out onto the patio shared by the two rooms you do overlook number two to some extent but that's easily rectified by allowing these plants to grow they overlook you slightly again easily organized by a little bit of lattice work and then one overlooks the garden where we were earlier again moving in looking away from the master now turning slowly to this bedroom really lovely room look at those ceilings really well done loads of storage loads of storage which is so helpful with the holiday home because so many times if you are renting a home out somewhere to put things you know simple as that again bath and done in the same style as the others really well finished try and have a look at the shower again probably doesn't show very well but Given that the bathroom looks that good, the, the sink and the faucets and everything. Damn. Lovely wood floors throughout. Really a very, very beautiful home. And offered at an incredible price currently. Won't be on the market long at this price. Owners have basically moved to Europe. Not long, no longer really planning on coming back here. So it's time for them to, to move on. Plantation Cottages 3, offered at Sandcastle Real Estate, www.barbados-realestate.com.